to alarm me now to talk about Take your pictures down and shake it out Truth or consequence, say it aloud Use that evidence, race it around Watch him as he goes There goes my hero He's out in there Don't the best of them bleed it out while the rest of them peter out Truth or consequence, say it aloud Use that evidence, race it around There goes my hero, watch him as he goes Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Lee John Blackmore here. Super easy guitar. So this week we're doing My Hero by the Foo Fighters. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. So as you probably realised from the beginning, there is a bar chord in this song. Don't let that put you off, okay? If you're a complete beginner, obviously it's probably not going to be the best time for you to be learning bar chords. But, you know, if you've been playing a while and you're used to these open chords, give it a go. It's not as hard as you think, and after a while, you will get there. First chord is just E major, nice and easy. Then we've got this C sharp, suspended second, which means I'm just barring down. I'm not playing the bottom E, by the way, I'm barring down. So C sharp is the note, fourth note on the A string and I'm putting my third finger like a power chord really so if you didn't if you can play bar chords that's going to be just fine okay so if you can play that third finger on the sixth fret on the D string and then keep the rest of it barred down then you'll be home free okay So I'm just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You can really just mess with it, you know? Just keep it nice and steady, especially if you're trying to sing and play. Do alarm me now. 
So if you're not quite ready for the down ups, just do straight down so you can still sing and play it. To alarm now. Okay. Then into the chorus, it starts off lovely with this an A sus2. So if you don't know what an A sus2 is, just normal A major. Remove the third finger. There's your A sus2, okay? I like to play it with my second and third finger. And then E. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, and down, down, up, up, down, up, down, and down, down, and up, up, down, up, down. Now, that would be the easier version. I was adding in the... So that guitar two... So all I'm doing now, I'm just playing octaves, okay? I'm using my pinky just because it's more comfortable. You could use your third finger. And it actually starts off on the sixth fret on the A string. That's where your first finger is, which is D sharp. And you're playing the octave, which is the eighth fret on the G string. And what you want to do is just play the two, well, it's the three strings really, if I play them individually. So it's going to be the A string. And then your first finger actually mutes this D and then G string. But you don't want that, right? You want to play over them. So I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's uh, six, seven, nine. The second time round, well, then it goes um, and then six, seven, four. Let's just play that through. There goes my hero. So the A, watch him as he E. Jump up. Try and get an E in and then. Second time round, same again, A sus two. There goes my hero. Watch him as E E six seven nine. Then it changes again. So the fourth time round, nine eleven six. Then we go down to this F sharp. F sharp. To the A sus2 again. So all I'm doing there, F sharp strumming, fourth fret on the A string, second fret fret on the A string, can't talk. Fourth fret on the E string, and then play the A sus2 chord. Then we're back into the second verse. It just repeats again, you know. So after the second, it goes into like a middle eight section or bridge section, if you like. It's similar to what he plays. And then into that section, right? So all I'm doing here is an E. And you can actually play the bottom E here as well. You don't have to do just downstrokes, you can do. And what I'm doing then to get, to get the higher strings, I'm just flattening my finger. So the chord, I'm actually putting the pinky on, whereas I play a power chord normally, I'm putting my pinky on the ninth fret on the G string as well. So you got this. But then I put my second finger on the eighth fret on the G string. So when I reveal it, when I remove my pinky, I end up with this 
E major seven chord, and then with that finger flatted as well, E major seven sus two. If you want to be, uh, if you want to know the exact chord, so. So you can do, go down ups like that, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, okay, or you can go, but start off a bit softer, right? And it's something I don't talk about very often, but it's uh, what's called dynamics. So for example, when you hear Dave Grohl playing this sort of stuff, he might start off really softly, and then by the end of the song, it's much heavier, it's what we call dynamics, okay? So try and add that into your plane as well. Start off soft. And I'm just squeezing my hand to get those high strings. Build it up. So they are pretty much all the parts, it just repeats again, you know? And so on. So you've pretty much got all the parts there guys. Go through them very slowly. Don't forget you don't have to add in this. If you're not ready for it just get the time in with the rest of the song and you can add that bit in when you get more confident, more comfortable with the changes moving around the fretboard etc. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. And I've got some links below guys for some merchandise I've got for sale. I've got a Spotify playlist for virtually all the songs I've done lessons for. And if you'd like to support me over here guys, I don't get paid for these lessons, so any spare change you have would be massively appreciated. And if you do send me a donation, please send me a message as well so I can reply to you. Enjoy guys, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Mm -hmm.